Hi everybody, I'm Andrea. Today I wanted to make a short video to go over the three ways that you can use essential oils with your horses. It happens to be the same three ways that we use essential oils with people, but it also applies to your horses. So those three ways are topically, aromatically, and internally. So let's start with topically. I make a bunch of different sprays, both for my own horse and for clients um, in spray bottles or um, just little um, pour bottles, things like that, of different blends of oils with carrier oil to support different things. I have um, a great fly spray recipe, things for hormone support, um, mane and tail growth, uh, skin issues. There's tons of different things that you can make sprays for to support your horse. Um, other ways that you can use them topically if you're not making a spray. Um, I'm, a, I'm an equine massage therapist, so I frequently use essential oils in massage if the client wants it. Um, you can just put a couple drops along the spine, which you could do yourself. You don't have to be a therapist to do that, but a couple drops along the spine and rub them in and they will get the effect of whatever oil you are applying to them. Um, common ones that I'll use would be lavender, the balance blend, um, aroma touch, are different ones that I will use to help the, the horse relax into whatever I'm trying to do with them. You can also apply them to the coronet band is a great way for a horse to absorb their oils. And up at the pole area is another great place to apply the oils topically for whatever effect you're trying to achieve. Um, pretty much covers the, the topical use. Um, there are different recipes, like I said, if you're looking for spe something specific, reach out to me and I can share a recipe that might help you out. Aromatically, Horses can inhale the oils just like we do. Um, you're going to get that effect in their brain within seconds of whatever oil that they are smelling. Um, so for instance, this is lavender is a great one, also topically for skin conditions, but aromatically would really help your horse if they are stressed out or have um, anxious feelings going on, it'll help them to relax. So this is not an, a video specific on lavender, but since that's the one I have in my hand, um, when you are having them inhale it, just be sure that they don't touch the tip of the, the bottle. You don't want them to touch that, it'll contaminate your whole bottle. But just have them smell it, or you can put a couple drops in your hand, have them smell it that way, they might be safer for your bottle. Um, and you can even get like little portable diffusers that are battery operated and put them in the stall or the horse trailer or wherever your horse is that it can help them um, get that aromatic effect. So the third way would be Internally is the one I didn't cover yet. So horses can ingest oils just like we do. You wanna make sure that you are using 100% certified pure therapeutic grade oils all the time, but especially if you are ingesting them. Um, you wanna make sure that whatever you're ingesting is not contaminated with whatever we don't know it is. Um, I use the doTERRA brand of oils, which are certified pure therapeutic grade oils. Um, Lavender is actually pharmaceutical grade, just a fun fact, but when you're ingesting an essential oil, the doTERRA bottles actually have a supplement facts on them if it is an oil that can be ingested. Um, I just showed you peppermint, which does have that. Um, Holiday Joy would be one that does not have any supplement facts on the bottle. This is one that you would not ingest. It is strictly for diffusers or to apply topically, things like that, um, not to go in your body. So when you are giving your horse oils to ingest, you can either give it in some water. Um, I like to apply it to like a little horse cookie, one or two drops is all you need, and they can ingest it that way. Um, you can give it to them in their food if you're sure that they're going to eat their, their grain with it on. But there's um, various different ways that you can get it. You can actually apply it directly into their mouth if you're trying to um, get it that way. But I do think that the cookies and the grains is the easiest way to have them ingest. So um, three of the ones that I use a lot for internal use would be uh, the copaiba. I ingest this myself every day for um, stress and anxiety is completely cut that out of my life. Um, so I have it in my tea every morning, but it also is great for horses um, for that effect, as well as for um, inflammatory issues and various different things. If you're interested in learning more about this oil, um, please reach out to me. I can share tons of information. It's 
works on the same receptors as CBD in your brain, but is actually more effective. So we can have that chat later. Um, digestion is another great oil for horses for GI support. It can help with horses that have motility issues, um, um, ulcer type issues, uh, if the motility is too fast or too slow. I've heard great success stories of um, symptoms coming on and giving some digestion to resolve those issues. Not that you should not consult your vet, but disclaimer, it, it has been shown to help, but I would still definitely consult your vet on issues like that. Um, peppermint is another great oil for GI support, um, ulcer issues in horses. It can help with those and as well as preventative. Um, so those are the three that I typically use internally. There are others that you can use with horses, but those are my three go-tos. If you have any questions about how to use them internally, please reach out to me and um, with any of the methods actually, and I'll ha be happy to share more of my, my methods. Um, I also have a video on how to introduce oils to your horse. You wanna make sure that the oils that you're using are ones that they are accepting of and there are different signs that they'll show. So I can share that video with you as well if I don't see you in person as one of my clients. Um, any questions again, please feel free to reach out and thank you for watching.